Okay, on some of these newer furnaces, I say newer, built within the last 20 years, uh, these furnaces, for the most part, they start their gas valve, you know, after their hot surface igniter is warmed up and so on, they start their gas valve and make a trial for ignition. Okay, if it doesn't ignite within four to seven seconds, it shuts off. And I've had a lot of questions about, well, is there something wrong with my gas valve? The hot surface igniter comes on, but it uh, it glows, and then nothing happens, and it shuts off, tries three times, and then shuts down, and safety's out. Well, you know that's a gas supply problem. And you know, is your did you pay your bill? First thing. Okay, is there any other appliances in the house that work? Okay. If you've eliminated all those things, and you're saying, well, my hot surface igniter comes on, it glows for a while, there's no flame. So the next thing you probably want to do is check to see if there's power to the gas valve. Now the gas valve is this doohickey right here. It's got lots of stuff on it and probably this is the most important part right here. These are the wires going to the gas valve. Now this one's a little more complex because it's two stages. That means there are two valves in the gas valve. And so, uh, you have to check the correct one. Okay, the easiest way to do this checking is you don't get too crazy here. You just simply say, well, what can I do to check to see if this works? Remember, this valve is only on for four to seven seconds. If you start checking after the thing's shut down, obviously it's not going to be on. So, I'm going to show you a way that you can check this valve to see if it's actually coming on, if, there, if there's power to it, not necessarily if it's coming on, but if there's power to the valve. And it's really quite simple. Even on this two-stage valve, even without looking at the wiring diagram. Okay, looking close at the valve, I've got these three wires. Now, I don't know which one of these is which. And I can look at the wiring diagram and I can figure this out. But let's say uh, I can't figure out what a wiring diagram is. And I just want to find out if there's actually power going through this valve. So, here's what I'm going to do. Now, note what I've done. I've taken one of the wires. I just picked one. I didn't necessarily know which one is which because this is a two-stage furnace it's going to start on singles the first stage on the lower stage first so I don't know if I'm on the right wire or not here one of them is going to be a common wire which will always have power going through it and the other one is going to be either the low fire or the high fire I just clamped one of them okay what I'm going to be looking at is what happens here? Okay. I'm going to start this thing up. Okay, my inducer has come on. Okay, you can see the hot surface igniter is on. So let's go down here. And we're going to have a trial for ignition right quick. Okay, I didn't get anything, did I? Now if I look up here again, hot surface igniter has gone out, so it's going to try for a, uh, another time. So I'm probably clamping the wrong wire. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab another one of the wires. Now I'm, I'm sure to have a, the proper wire this time. Okay. Hot surface igniter is on. 
Now, let's look and see if we get a trial for ignition. Okay, you can see I'm drawing 0.2 amps and then it shut off. That's the ignition time. It was about four seconds. It's not very long. You have to have that clamp meter placed around the wire and if you don't get the wire, the proper wire the first time, try another one if there's three wires going to it. If there's only two, one will work fine. But you see it's only going to be there a very short time. If I show an amp draw, that means the gas valve is good. I mean, you get, well, I shouldn't say the gas valve is good. I mean the gas valve is energizing. There is power traveling through it and it's pulling something in. It's pulling a solenoid in or something like that. Now, so what's the problem? We could have a uh, gas cock closed. The gas valve itself could be closed. Let's pull this off. Take a closer look at this particular gas valve. And you know, gas valves are all sorts of different ways that they're set up. This one has a cock, and you notice the cock is in the on position because there's this little notch here. If you turn it like that, it goes to off. Uh, and if I go here, I'm going to find, oh, look, a little gas cock. Uh, that's a gas cock, and as long as this is in line with the pipe, it's on. So, if you get an amp draw, that means the gas valve is energizing. There's no problem with control boards or flame rods or hot surface igniters or any of those silly things. It's all in the gas valve or the gas supply. So, uh, look to this gas valve for the problem. If I don't show an amp draw, then that means we either got a board problem or the gas valve solenoid is open. Now I'll tell you the truth, solenoids and gas valves very seldom are open. They may not work and you can take the plug out of this thing right here and you can do the same thing I just did with a voltmeter to see uh, whether there's actually power coming to the gas valve. I'll go over that in another video. But this one is just a little quickie check to use that uh, the ammeter, the clamp ammeter to find out if the circuit is good and the uh, solenoid in the gas valve is energizing. And so that's a one little quick test on the gas valve.